Hey guys, it's Jesus again, and today we're going to set up our payment into our card uh, website, into our card landing page, right? So I have my template here where I will set up my texts, icons, uh, screenshots, videos, whatever. We already covered that in the other video. You have already the link. Uh, but then let's say that you want to have your subscriptions uh, so you want to have people that find your website buy a subscription and then based on that subscription you will give them access to the app uh, so you can set up your admin portal in your glide app uh, your admin tab and then in a checkbox style list you just click a checkbox for the paid users and then you set up your visibility conditions so that those users can i don't know do things in the app right uh, since Glide has a Stripe integration, but that doesn't work for subscriptions, that's why we're setting up the subscriptions in the you know, landing page, right, in card. So let's do that here. So this is my landing page, and let's say I want to have a button. So actually, instead of get started, let's convert that to a ping button. So I will delete this button. I will add a component here and I will add a widget. Then Stripe checkout. You can do use Gumroad, Facebook, I mean Facebook like uh, PayPal, actually Stripe, Gumroad, and PayPal. Let's do Stripe. Um, and then we choose the product. So you can either sell like one off products or subscribe, right? Then the price ID that we will do in Stripe. And then the button label, let's say subscribe with Stripe. You can name it any way you want. And then we want a billing address, I don't care. No shipping address, success URL. So after your users have completed the payment, you can point them to a different URL, maybe the app, right? Uh, and then your API keys. So the first thing that I want to set up is my price ID. So this is my Stripe account, okay? And I wanna create a new product. So add product, it will be a recurring, okay? And this will be app subscription. You can upload an image for this. Um, let's choose something else. And then this will be my app description. And then I have additional options here. Um, nothing important. Pricing. Pricing. So we're going to charge $50 USD. Recurring, billing period, monthly. And that's that. So safe product. So this is your product and this is your product ID. Okay, so do we need the product or the price ID? Actually, we need the price ID. So the price ID is down here. Copy to clipboard, right? Because the one product could have different prices according to Stripe at least. So I'm going to copy paste this. And then I need my, I don't require billing. I need my API keys. So you go to settings and API. So let's search for API. And then here, developer API keys. I'm gonna pause my video because I shouldn't share my API keys. You do that, copy those, paste them over there. Okay, so I have set up my API keys. I have my life key and my secret key down here. So let's click done. So now I have the subscribe with the Stripe button and let's put it up here. So remember, drag and drop uh, your call to action. Let's put it under this text. Then let's change the color though. Um, I don't know if we can do that. Apparently not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So let's put it up here. Subscribe with Stripe, there we go. So I'm going to save 
publish changes. And then let's see if it works. Open the website. View site. So I have my landing page. And then I have the subscribe with Stripe button. So I click the button. So before the button will work, I will go back to Stripe. Uh, let's see, here we go, right? And then I have to go to settings and then checkout settings. And then I have to add the link of my website here, my domain, right? Otherwise Stripe will block the payment. So my website has this name. So let's add that domain here. Domains must be exact matching, that's important. So we have the, this one and let's do card car.co that's in this case because I am using the the subdomain right uh, but in case when you have set up your website you will link it you will set up your custom domain and then you won't have to add these card domains you will just add your domain so let's go back and then let's click the subscribe with try button so there we go. So this logo is coming from Stripe. This image is coming from Stripe. So remember, I set up in Stripe in my products. I have the name. I uploaded this image uh, and the price, of course, right? So the name, the image, and then this is Stripe. Everything that you see here on the left, on the right is Stripe. So that I think that I have set up in my Stripe that you can pay with Google Pay. I could even like delete this or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, and then email. So the users, your clients will just add their email, their credit card information, the name, their country, and that's that. They click subscribe and then they are subscribed. So uh, Stripe will send you a, an email, go to our customers, can see here all of my customers right so Stripe will send you an email now you can integrate with Zapier this information from Stripe uh, into your Glide app into into your Google Sheet that is acting as a backend of your Glide app that way you can automate the process so as soon as a client pays in Stripe in your website through Stripe, then you search for that email in your users or profiles database, your profiles tab in the Google Sheet, and then mark that client as paying. Or you can set up a different table, a different tab in your Google Sheet that you bring over all of your payments. So when there's a new payment in Stripe, store it in a Google Sheet. So I just log into Zapier and I will make a Zap. So what I want is, the trigger is a new subscription in, in Stripe, right? So Stripe, trigger event, mm, new order is created. So I have already linked my Stripe account to my Zapier. Um, so you can see that the first customer is the one that shows up here in so if i go to my customers tab elijah is my first customer so i'm looking at this same table over in stripe right so when there's a new customer and they have paid so let's test this trigger uh, actually, the status is just created. So let's test it. So let's just get back, go back for a second. When the trigger will be new 
new customer. Okay, so you connect your account, then you test your trigger, then I'll, I'm bringing over Lijus as a new customer, right? So when that happens, I want to create a new row in my goal sheet. Create spreadsheet row or update a spreadsheet row. Probably the easiest will be to create a spreadsheet row. Then I have my, my Gmail already connected. I can have my Google Drive. I can choose my spreadsheet. So I choose my Google Drive, I choose my spreadsheet, I choose my worksheet, and then I want to store in my email column, in my worksheet, the user's email, maybe their name also. Actually, I just need their email because that's how I am going to do a relation back to the user profiles. Um, maybe we want to store how much they paid or the product ID or the date. In this case, as long as we have the email, that's enough. So we test, review, and turn on our SAP. So that way, now we have our paying customers emails in a Google Sheet, ideally in the same Google Sheet as your app. Now we will just make a relation back to the user profiles and if the relation is true, so if, if, the, if Glide finds your customer's email address in the table in your Google Sheet um, where you will store your subscriptions, then you can give them access to other parts of the app. So that's how you set up payments in card with Stripe. I hope it makes sense. Let us know if you have any questions.